now one thing about Revit that you guys are that are new to Revit, I'm going to give you some basic tips here on on um, what you should do at least to to get started with things is you should always open Revit models through the program. Use open here, use the open icon here, or use the file now in 2018 open projects to get to to your projects. And the reason for that is because again. Coming back for you guys that do proper uh, AutoCAD etiquette, right, where you audit and purge your files often, right, down here at the bottom is the only place that you can audit a file. And this is something that is o overlooked at pretty much 90% of the firms that I deal with on support that are having rampant corruption and issues in a project. There's 12, 20 people on a team and not one of them will audit. They just skip right over it. When I get on a GoTo meeting and I say, okay, let's take a look at the model and what the error is, it just they they just skip right over it, right? Now, you don't have to audit every day or every single time, but I always teach my students to do this every single time so that if they're the only ones on their team in their firm auditing the model, you're basically doing a solid for everyone in the project. And what this does, this fixes a lot of issues and errors and corruption that's happening in the background that nobody sees. It's in the inners or it's in the inside of these projects that is really nowhere for, if you're not a ones and zeros or a programmer, you really could understand. I don't hardly understand other than the fact that this is best practices and that you should do this as often as possible. So I audit and I this ominous warning here, right? This is why it really kind of puts people off but just click on yes and just I just open up any project. Now, back to the workflows real quick. I have some models here that I want to show you. You know, again, expediting the process or of your learning curve is by using some advantage some different advantages uh, to starting a project. And like in this one here, this is a a jpeg underlay um, that's basically just an image file. That's all this is. It's just an image of a CAD background. Um, start projects using uh, CAD files and I'll, I did one with the CAD file here I'm gonna ignore that link but there's a CAD file here if I go into the 3d view I can start with it I can set up Revit and set up elevations so that when I place you know my walls or air terminals or whichever discipline I'm in I'm at elevation or at height right so I can start projects using it also I can start projects using you know for you guys that are engineers if there's any on 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 the, the the webinar, you can use CAD backgrounds for your your uh, MEP systems here as well to use it as a go by or your background, and then when you're done, you can get rid of the background. Or if it's live, right? Here's another AutoCAD uh, Dink for you guys that are AutoCADers. Linking in Revit is what we call XREFs or external referencing in AutoCAD. So if I link in or XREF in another another Revit file, I can also link in or XREF in CAD files. So if there's a certain part of my process that's in CAD and it, it only needs to be in CAD, I can create a CAD file, link it in and bring it into my Revit project and print it out and that's, a, that's done. I meet my deadline, right? That's the whole point of uh, doing a phased approach implementation of this software and not trying to take on too much. And there's all these information out there for you guys to kind of follow suit with this. Um, that there's a lot of good dip, tips and tricks out there. Uh, and our blog, a lot of these little things that I'm showing you are some uh, extra, um, uh, more in depth on some of these commands that I'm using. Uh, if you go to our blog site, that's kind of where I blog on a lot of stuff that I get on tech support are questions that I answer maybe three or four times in a month and I'll do a blog about it so that you guys can uh, I'm sure most people want to ask but they won't right 